Remember that time Hammy the squirrel drank the energy drink and over the hedge and could see in slow motion? Well, the weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind is apparently he doesn't need an energy drink to do that in real life. They say time is relative, and uh, that is true in so many mind-bending ways. For example, the faster you're physically moving, the slower time moves for you. And gravity changes how fast time moves as well. Time may keep marching on, but it marches to many different drums. And those drums apparently go beyond quantum physics. Because while we believe that we're all experiencing time marching to the same tune. Turns out even our personal experiences and perceptions of time are different. Let me explain, because it's crazy, and if you've got ADHD like I do, you're gonna want to hear this. Recent studies have found that animals, particularly smaller ones with higher metabolisms, see in slow motion. See, our eyes and brains function in a very similar way to a video camera. Our eyes perceive waves and pulses of light, but if you continuously speed up pulses of light, pretty soon it stops looking like it's flashing, and it looks like a light that's continuously on. And that's how frame rates on a camera turn individual still pictures into movies or even a flip book because they're all individual pictures moving fast enough to give us the impression of time because we can no longer see those pulses in between image changes this is a great feature for helping us accurately perceive our world but it has limitations because sometimes things can go by so fast that you can't see it at all kind of like a speeding bullet or george santos's political career but if you have a camera that has a much higher frame rate and can capture those successive pictures or pulses faster you could then slow that down and see that speeding bullet. Well, it turns out brains can do the same. By monitoring specific brain activity, scientists have been able to figure out when various animals stop perceiving a pulsing light's flashes as flashing and just a continuously on light. Their brain's frame rate, as it were. Some animals, like mites, cats, and dogs, and even swordfish, can see in a higher frame rate than we can, or can see in slow motion. So if you ever wondered why it's so hard to swat a fly, this is part of the reason why. Flies move a little faster than our frame rate can effectively handle. What's even more interesting is that these animals can dial it up and down. When they're in a relaxed state, they can view the world at a relaxed pace. But when they need to go hammy, their sight can speed up and the world they need to perceive slows down. Just like when Neo needs to dodge bullets in the Matrix. So then the question is obviously, do people have a similar superpower? And while there hasn't been enough research yet to say for sure, there's certain theories that say we do. For example, if you've ever been in a car accident or some sort of traumatic event, you may have felt like you were seeing and experiencing it in slow motion. Which is something I can confirm from personal experience because I haven't wrecked many vehicles, but the ones I have wrecked, I've wrecked right. It ain't a wreck unless it's leaving on a wrecker. And every time that's happened to me, it's been a frame by frame experience. So it wouldn't be unfair to hypothesize that this may be very similar to what other animals experience. It's just theirs might be a little bit more under their control. Whereas we require some oh shit to activate our slow-mo. But if my ADHD friends have made it this far, which I totally understand is ironic uh, that I made you wait till the end for this, sorry. There's an interesting hypothesis that relates to this specifically about us. Studies in mice show that dopamine, you know, the feel-good chemical in your brain, speeds up the perception of time. You know how time flies when you're having a good time and it seems like something fun is always over way too quick? Well, that could be because of dopamine's effect on your perception of time. Or you haven't practiced your edging skills enough, depending on the situation. Anyway, people with ADHD have a deficiency in dopamine, which could mean that our base level perception of time is slow motion. Like, if you don't have ADHD, just imagine your baseline perception of everyday life is watching Ben Stein give a lecture on astrophysics, but at half speed. Because the majority of life is long stints of mundane, uninteresting activity broken up by moments of something exciting or traumatic or pleasurable. So it could be that the majority of our life is spent experiencing nothing happening in slow motion. Even when something important is happening that isn't super stimulating, we're still experiencing it in slow motion, hypothetically. And this apparently could be why meth works to treat ADHD. Adderall, sorry. So this helps explain why it seemed counterintuitive that giving a stimulant to somebody who's already on overdrive all the time would slow them down. The hyperactive part could come from our perception of the world being slow, not us being fast. And by giving us a stimulant, it speeds up our perception of time, which slows us down in the world. It's probably why I drink a pot of coffee every day and feel fine. And it's probably why so many people with ADHD are constantly seeking out those instant gratification dopamine highs. And it's why we bounce all over in that pursuit and why we're agitated when we don't have it and why it's hard to focus on what you're saying or what we're doing. It hasn't been scientifically proven, but I think it's an excellent hypothesis. And it's funny to think about the reality of the fact that when Fry spent his stimulus trek to drink 100 cups of coffee, Coffee, instead of getting to that hundred cup and seeing everything in slow motion and saving the day, he probably just would have missed it altogether because it would have flown right by. And the fact that some species have the superpower of selective slow-mo sight and we may see that ADHD's severe slow and steady sense of seconds is stifling and steadfast, well that is pretty mind-boggling.